Okay, so this is a prototype of a new necklace that I'm making, and it's uh, basically going to be ball bearings with a light. I'm not sure if I like the big light. Um, most LEDs come sort of like this, and uh, I wanted something different, and I happened to find at the store these LED lights that are more like this. sort of steampunk effect, which is kind of neat. So I have that piece, and you need a bearing, and these are the watch batteries, but they're actually found these ultra-thin ones. I mean, they're even thinner than a penny. I mean, that's a penny, and that's the battery. It's even thinner. Most of the watch batteries are actually thicker than that, about twice about as thick as a quarter, which would be about that thick. You can see how much thicker that is. So, if you want to uh, make a light, you basically put the positive to the positive end, the negative to the negative end, and you have a light. And I want to be able to put it through the bearing. So, I put it on the back. I bent it. Um, I had to make some adjustments. I had to do some things because the, uh, the LED lights are actually, they actually fit really loosely in here through the bearings and they fall out very easily. Um, they're the wrong size. So what we did was I um, used some, mask, uh, some electrical tape and thickened up the shaft and then I put the batteries on the back. Now I needed a back case. I couldn't make one. Um, it's not the skill set I had. So what I did was I took some of these steampunky pieces and then I used the pliers and I bent them until they made a nice little rim on here and it made the final connection. You can almost kind of see it through. Um, and then we have the piece. It's running. It's been running for about a day now. As soon as I make a permanent piece that can fit as a cap over here, then I'll make it into a necklace. Now, one of the things that we have that are interesting is I have this. And this piece fits in just perfect on top and flush. You can see how high this one is. And um, that was my cat. So this one will be nice and flush and tight. So I'm going to just set this here. See if I can show you what it looked like with the lights on. Put it backwards. Oh. Oops, was that right? Let me make sure you get these the right way. And you can see how that'll be nice and flush against the piece. So all I gotta do is make the cap now and it'll be perfect.